Hey everybody, Scott Detweiler here, and uh, this is a video I'm going to share uh, that's uh, Spiros Heniatis and I are going to be working on a YouTube collaboration project uh, for photographers. So you can see uh, kind of behind the scenes of how we work on the same project uh, with the same model, uh, but from two artistic perspectives. So everything from the lighting to the post-production to interviews with the model, the whole thing, a big series of videos. So this is uh, our first meeting to discuss the project and uh, kind of a little bit about us and where we're going to go with it. Uh, so enjoy, and I'll catch you soon. Hello, photographers. I haven't said that in a while. <laughs> and I've never said that. Yeah, so. <laughs> it was my thing. Like, you know, I was, I, I, that's how I used to open my videos. You know, I came to the conclusion that people don't care about you on YouTube until they <laughs> care about you. <laughs> you know, seeing the grocery store and go, oh, you're that one guy. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> that happened to me once, which was kind of weird. Really? Yeah, it did. Because, <laughs> um, our local high school here uses my videos in their photography classes. So oh, one of the students, cool. yeah, recognized me. I thought it was amazing. I was like, oh, my God, that's so cool. And I've actually gone to the high school um, for the last two or three years and um, talked to the class. And we've done photo shoots um, together, which has been a lot of fun. But, yeah, I'm Spiro Saniatis. Who the hell are you? I am Scott Detweiler. <laughs> I'm about three hours away um, south in the same lovely state of Wisconsin. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. And so we're here to do something a little bit different, I guess. I don't know how prolific you've been as far as work and shooting goes, but I've not been very prolific at all. I haven't really been expressing my creativity um, and that's the thing we all need to do. Uh, so when you reached out to me with this, uh, this idea, I was, I mean, I was genuinely hesitant at first just because it's YouTube and, well, and I kind of, and it's me. <laughs> <laughs> just don't, that, don't, that whole thing. Don't do yourself dirty like that. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. <laughs> um, but it, but it appealed to me because I want to. I need to express my creativity. Uh, and that's kind of the thrust of this whole thing that we're going to do here. So, yeah. Well, we're going to we're going to do a little project that's going to take us um a few weeks, um at least. At least. I would say a few weeks is reasonable, but uh we're not going to announce the theme of it yet, but basically we're going to try and work in the same project um same model. And maybe some other nuances, like we're going to set a theme and we got to follow the theme. But we haven't talked about whether you want to do like the same number of lights, if you want to do any other constraints that you want to wrap. It has to be on paper and then, you know, whatever. It has to be indoors, it has to be outdoors. Mm -hmm. You know, we haven't talked about that. But I think, you know, was it uh, I think these Bill are... Gates, one of my favorite quotes uh -huh. is constraint causes creativity. Yeah, you know? no, most definitely. I like the idea of putting constraints on us as we go into it. I think for this first one, just rolling with our theme when we decide what it is and 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 going off of that is a good place for us to start. Because what we yeah. want to do is like share with you the people out there watching this video and the future videos, hopefully <laughs> we want to share with you like our creative processes, all of it, like the whole thing, the whole process from just coming up with the idea all the way through to we're done editing these photos and we save the file and we have a finished image because there's all kinds of stuff that happens in yeah. between there. It's more than just, okay, I'm going to do a photo shoot, and then you have somebody show up and you take a picture of them. It's so much more complicated than that. Um, and, and I don't mean complicated in a bad way. I just mean there's a lot of stuff that happens from point A to point B, and we want to share that process with you. Yeah, and I, I think even taking it further, you know, the fact I want to get these printed, mm -hmm. you know, and I want to have one that I'm going to be able to, you know, physically hang on, on the wall in the studio or in the home or in the office or you know, here. Yep, yep. <laughs> Uh, I, I want to have a physical print. So I know a lot of people that, that follow my channel have said they want to see a lot more of my printing process, like how I'm getting those physical prints. And I use a lab for a lot of my stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to reach out to that lab and see if they'd be interested in helping us with some physical prints when we're done with this. Because 
maybe we'll have some ravenous viewers are like, oh, that was the best thing ever. And I was a part of it. Mm-hmm. I want one of those prints, you know, to work out something like that to make it interesting. Would- but, you know, everything from the lighting and maybe even a video of us trying to talk the model into this because neither of us have talked to her. <laughs> right. I mean, it's, there's that. Right. So. Right. Every, that little technicality. Yeah. Every aspect of it is <laughs> is something we want to share. So there's going to be a number of videos as we go through this. This is just us sitting down, obviously very unscripted, as you can tell. Obviously, if you're on my channel, you probably have some familiarity with me, but you probably don't know Scott. And for those of you watching on Scott's channel, you know him, obviously, but you don't you probably don't know me. Um but there's going to be a number of videos, uh, and we're going to be sharing these on both of our channels. Uh, and, and like I said, sharing our different processes because different people work in different ways. And and there's always something to learn, whether it's you as a viewer learning something from me or from Scott or me learning f- something from Scott or Scott learning something from me. Like, you know, all of this cross-pollinates. And, and that's, I think, one of my favorite things about... Um, just all of this kind of stuff is the cross pollination mm-hmm. of ideas and and the sort of like you know the rising tide lift all lifts all boats, um, and I love that idea <laughs> for creativity and for t- photography and like bringing people up to the point that they feel comfortable and confident in expressing their own creativity with the tools that they have. Yeah, you know, and we we've talked about this in the past. You know. Uh, the way we light a scene or even the way we approach lighting. Mm-hmm. Like I use a light meter, you know, I, I love my light mm-hmm. meter and how we, how we do those different things. Uh, just, you know, how I push my camera, like I push stuff really hard against the right hand edge. You know, I like, I like to fill that histogram mm-hmm. full. And I don't know if, if you're into that, I'm super technical about my sensor and my camera right. and pushing it. Uh, and I think that a lot of those different aspects of this, I mean, it's not a, it's not a competition. It's more of a comparison of approach to the project right. and then how we finish it off, you know, post-production wise too. We're both very different there. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I want to push myself, you know, during this COVID cation, I'm trying to do, you know, get back to some of the roots. Like I used to paint and draw a lot and I haven't done that in years. So I'm trying to do more of that, but I also want to push myself more in the 3d universe and like blender, for example, learning 3d software like mm-hmm. that. Um, I want to try and use that in this. Like that's something that I want to do personally. And like you said, it's it's this get off the couch because this year sucks. <laughs> Let's do something, you know? Right. I want to use it that right. way. I, I think of the technical stuff as unlocking the the ability to be creative. So I have that technical awareness, uh, but I probably don't think about it as technically as you do. And and showing though the the different approaches and, and thoughts and brain operations is 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 fun to me like seeing how you do things mm-hmm. here's it like here's an example right uh you know pierre stevenson don't you mm-hmm. yeah. yeah like guy's a genius and i am consistently blown away when i watch him like walk into a space and then like pull out his iphone and you know a flashlight and you know somebody's whatever and and he puts a model somewhere and he takes a photograph and it's just amazing the way this guy can see and think about light and the way his brain works mm. like i i i love watching it because it's fascinating i learn something every time and and his thoughts are, it's like it, it's it's so amazing to be able to see how other people work that's what i'm trying to say here yeah, absolutely. I'm looking forward to seeing how you approach different aspects of this as well. I mean, it's 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 totally not one sided. Mm-hmm. Like I I really am interested in seeing how this thing unfolds. <laughs> it's um, gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be. I yeah, I'm really looking mm-hmm. forward to it. So why don't we share yeah. a little bit about ourselves? Why don't you start? Tell tell us tell us about you. Tell us a little bit about you. Well, I'm a full time photographer based in uh, just outside of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I'm a fine art photographer. So I shoot a lot of pretty much whatever I want to. Uh, and then I sell those with galleries. I have uh, a lot of people that collect my stuff. And then I have clients as well. You know, I shoot high school seniors. I shoot um, completely different. <laughs> I shoot boudoir as well. And that's not those don't mm-hmm. mingle. Uh, you know, a lot of people are like, how can you shoot both those? I'm like, well, because you don't shoot one like the right. other one. But uh, do a lot of boudoir work because I shoot a lot of fine art of women. Uh, but high school seniors, it doesn't matter if it's boys or girls, but, you know, because that pays the mm-hmm. bills. Um, but that's a different business than the fine art stuff. 
Um, and that's that's pretty much it. I mean, I do uh, a lot of post production. So I like to be in Photoshop and Coral Painter and Blender and Krita and all those applications as much as I do behind mm -hmm. the camera. Like I love post production. And not only that, but sometimes I'll print my work and then I will continue to paint on the print. Cool. So the idea is to come up with something that is a one of a kind, literally one of a kind. And then, you know, that price tag on that thing, you know, skyrockets. So if someone's collecting something that's called an artist embellished mm -hmm. print um, and people like to collect them. So, I'm like, okay, well, yeah. here you go. This is a one of. Yeah. I, even one of my channel memberships is for people that collect my prints. Mm -hmm. So each month they get an envelope with something in it. That's, so kind of fun. It's very, very cool. And one of the things I've always admired about you and your work is the post-processing work that you've done and that you do. And and quite honestly, you and your post-processing inspired me to start pushing myself a year or two ago oh. to really start pushing myself to learn and get better at post-processing. Uh, well, that's cool. So, <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and it's like we've known each other for like four, four or five years. years? Five we years? met at I think we met at yeah. Models Monsters Motors. Um, yep. And and we've we've always kind of you know since meeting like we've run in the same circle so to speak, um, mm -hmm. and we've run into each other a lot, but we've never actually spent a ton of time together. So, uh, you know, we know each other. We're friendly, but. Um, it's funny, I, I, I the, that first time I met you again was at Models Monsters Motors, and I had I had literally no idea who you were because I was still new into the community of of it's the bulk guy, <laughs> Just look the bulk. which right, <laughs> and uh, at Models Monsters Motors, of course, you know, there's photographers. You can't throw a rock without hitting a photographer, and then it bouncing off and hitting yeah. a model. And I don't even remember which model it was, but with Kayla um, it was Kayla with a car that shot gasoline out the back and made a big. Oh, fire. I do remember that, but that's actually not what I'm thinking about. What I'm thinking about was just there was oh. just the, there was a model who I was working with, and I don't remember which one it was. And you were like walking into or coming out of the haunted house, and we like we were going in opposite directions. And the model saw you mm. and was like, oh, my God, that's Scott Detweiler, my favorite ph photographer. And he said hi to me. <laughs> and, I was like, and I was like, who's Scott Detweiler? <laughs> and then later on. <laughs> I don't like him already. <laughs> and then later on that night, I actually I? met you and, you know, got to know you a little bit. Um, but anyway, that's that's. <laughs> That's just always something that's stuck in my head. And um, well, I didn't really. so, yeah, hmm. a couple of years ago, you know, and I've seen your work for, you know, for years now. Uh, and I've always admired your post processing. And that that is it is what inspired me to, like, really start trying to get better at my post work. Um, and and I, I uh, have been shooting just generally in photography for about 20 years. But I started shooting portraits um, about. 10 years ago, but that was just like self portraits. I really started shooting like other people uh, five or six years ago now. And uh, But your self portrait work was, you know, that was a, <laughs> a big thing. I mean, that was. Yeah, it was. That was, I mean, you learned. I mean, that, that I, can't, I couldn't do that. I mean, I did, I did a 52 week project and made it about 28 weeks in and said, I'm, I'm done looking at right. this, you know. All right. But you went, I mean, you would. I went daily, daily. for a whole year and it was yeah. like, it was intense, uh, and and that's why I never lightly recommend people do daily or three sixty five or you know whatever. The, everybody everybody like gets excited about those kinds of projects when they get into photography, and and you know the 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 web is lousy with people who are like you should do a daily photo project, right? But to commit to something like that is an enormous undertaking. And what I always tell people who are thinking about projects is like. If you want to do a project, that's great, but you have to set a time schedule that's reasonable for you, like once a month, once a week, mm -hmm. once every two weeks, whatever. I did it daily, and I'll never do that again, but I don't regret doing <laughs> it because I learned, like you said, I learned a tremendous amount about being a photographer. I learned a tremendous amount about lighting. I learned a lot about myself as a human being, uh, and I learned a lot about being a model and posing and angles and all those other things, and, and all of that's been really valuable to me. 
as I've gone on to uh, shoot portraits and work with people. And and I'd also uh, call myself a fine art photographer as well. I shoot generally in the same genre that you do, although, as you said, like we both create very different work. Uh, and mm -hmm. um, I'm a professional in the sense that um, I am a skilled photographer, but uh, my my quote unquote income or job or whatever you want to call it for the last decade was uh, teaching on YouTube and selling my courses in, in education. Um, taking a break from that, but this is kind of me stepping back into that, which I'm, I'm a big fan of that step. <laughs> I'm I want to see the I want to see the channel. Oh, this is partially me being greedy. Like I want your channel. I want your channel to be active again. Like I like really? your videos. This is my no kidding. Yeah, oh yeah, this is my. Yeah, absolutely. I watched no a bunch of your stuff. I never knew that like, either. I'm like, gonna say, <laughs> I'm kind of blushing. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, say so you know, you would do you would well, you did some stuff too, like hardware stuff. Uh huh. Like you'd unbox something and things like that. And I'm like, well, I I didn't even know what that was. Like you know, the thing is, I live in this little hole of what I use, and I don't really venture mm -hmm. outside of it. Like you were talking about, you edit a lot on right. an iPad. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't own an iPad. Like. I use a PC for everything. Um, I have a Surface Book, which I I don't know if I hate it or not. And I kind of, I'm looking at it and it's looking at me. You guys are eyeballing each other and you're kind of like, I don't yeah. know about you yet. I mean, I, I like, it's kind of like a Cintiq wannabe. Mm -hmm. Like, I like the fact that I can, but it gets hot. Yeah. And I don't like yeah. that in my hand. So I use a Wacom and I'm happy with it. But um, yeah, I mean, I learned a I learned a ton from your channel too. So this is me kind of like, let's yeah, do some videos together. Uh -huh. huh? yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm glad you needled yeah. me for it because. Well, you are yeah. now. Well, I, but we haven't no. done it yet. <laughs> <laughs> you might hate me in a month, right? I mean, <laughs> it's entirely possible, but I doubt it. <laughs> I, um, you know, all year I've been thinking about just, YouTube and what I've done in the past decade and what I'm doing, you know, here, let me show you something. This box is my silver mm -hmm. play button from YouTube for, a, I was for, a, wonder where that for was. 100,000 subscribers. And I got this. Uh, and here's the funny thing, right? I stopped making videos for the most part in October of last year when I was just so stressed out, I just had to stop. And and I sh without I knew and I knew it would happen without doing anything. My ten years of history on YouTube has momentum, and my channel continued to grow, and people continued to watch my videos, which is amazing, and I'm I'm incredibly grateful for that. Um, I turned over a hundred thousand subscribers on my birthday this year, no joke. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. which is kind of wild. Um, and. And I got this play button, and it's been sitting in this box, and I haven't opened it. And this is, this is sort of—I probably just doxed myself by showing my address on there. I'm gonna have to blur that out. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> this is this is kind of symbolic. The fact that it's still in this box unopened is kind of symbolic of how I felt about YouTube all year. Like I'm proud to have this, but I'm also leaving it in the box. <laughs> Well, maybe maybe when this is all done and we're staring at our physical prints, which mm -hmm. we're signing, then you know maybe we maybe we break that sucker out and we you cut it on the wall and say you know yeah I'm yeah, back maybe right? maybe regardless I'm excited about this project I'm excited about working with you yeah. I'm excited about expressing my creativity um, again and. Uh, and sharing it because it's it's something I've always liked doing is sharing what I've learned and what I create with other people, both because, you know, obviously we, we love validation, we're human beings, but also because I love seeing other people who are inspired by and motivated to express their own creativity. Yeah, I mean, if this causes other people to get out there and do the same kind of thing, you know, I think that would be mm -hmm. that would be awesome, you know. You know, I spend a lot of my time, you know, going through different photog uh, photography conferences and speaking around the nation, or at least I did <laughs> before this whole thing. I was on 16 planes uh, in January and February. And 
all the other conferences I have went virtual now. I'm going to be at Imaging USA in January, but that's, again, I'm not going to Texas mm -hmm. now. It's going to be virtual. Um, but watching every year you come upon somebody else that you saw like yep. two or three years ago and they're like, look yeah. what I have done from what I learned. I mean, that's, yep. that's why we're here. I love watching that growth. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And, and I think, uh, I think that's probably the main motivator here is I'm, I feel like I want to be teaching mm -hmm. and I can't because this whole COVID thing. So I started poking my YouTube channel harder and then I kind of like, you know, I need to get out and see people, but I can't. So this is my way of right. connecting and saying, let's make some art and collaborate on something. But um, collaboration is also very difficult right now. Even just getting the same model mm -hmm. for the two of us mm -hmm. is going to be a little bit of effort, you know? Yeah. So I think, I think it will it'll too. be worth it. And, and I'm, I'm happy to be doing this. Um, so this... This video is us just putting this out to the world so that you guys can hopefully find it and see it. Um, when we're actually going to release the project videos, like Scott said, we're not sure of because we have details we have to work out. But as we record those videos, we're going to be talking about those processes and details. And then we'll share those with you. And it should not be yeah. a huge wait. Um, because, I mean... Uh, I'm starving for something to work on that's mm -hmm. artistic. You know, I still have project work, but um, it's mostly product stuff. And that's, that's boring, <laughs> technically challenging, yeah. but boring. And I, I want to shoot something fun and interesting. So I'm going to be you know, pushing, <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? Let's just change shirts and shoot the next episode right now since we're here. I still have wine left. I could get a glass. Like, <laughs> Good, and then we could say, "Hey, it's been a yeah. it's been a couple weeks, but we thought we'd join you again." And it's totally not the same night it was a minute ago. It's right. Fine. So, in that next video, we're gonna have um, our theme locked down, and we'll talk about the process of coming up with that theme, and then we'll discuss the actual theme uh, and our ideas around it, and anything else we have on it with you, because. And there, we're kind of coming up with the rule that we're going to reveal it, but revealing it to each other mm -hmm. at the same time, uh, that we're not going to borrow from the other right. person's ideas. Because, you know, he's got ideas and I have ideas. and we're both, But I think that's part mm -hmm. of this interesting mm -hmm. process is keeping it, yeah. keeping it like that. Uh, because I want to share with you. And then if the viewers have ideas, too, on, you know, we think we have the theme, but if you have a yeah. strong idea, we want a single person is the model uh probably female um uh, since that's all i shoot right i mean <laughs> uh yep. put in the comments below what you think would be a fun theme idea um although I yeah think we're leaning yeah one we had way, a couple I, I agree i think we're leaning one way bit. but we are we are open to suggestions and and this isn't to say that Absolutely. something you suggest now won't get used in the future so if you have an idea definitely leave a comment yeah. like we might do this you know, a hundred times if this works out well. I mean, it's going to be a lot of videos. I mean, we're thinking probably seven per to shoot. ten videos. I mean, mm -hmm. per shoot. I mean, just trying to think like, you know, we've got lighting. We've got mm -hmm. discussions of lighting, you know, our setup, the behind the scenes of the shoot or the behind the scenes of the lighting setup, depending on how right. much effort there is there. The actual shoot itself, interview with the model, culling. I mean, the list goes on. There's a whole lot of stuff there that we want to share. And I'm a mm -hmm. big Capture One user. So I'll be doing all mm -hmm. my calling in Capture One. I mean, you're I'm using, using Lightroom on Light, the iPad. Right? So I do my, yeah, on the on iPad, iPad. So I'll, I do my calling there. Um, I used to I used to do everything on, uh, I'm a Mac user for my like day-to-day -day work. I do have a PC for all of this video crap, but um, I used to do my calling in, I used to use Lightroom Classic. Um, and then a couple years-ish ago, you know, Adobe released Lightroom right next to Lightroom, and everybody was like, "What the f what the fuck is going on here, Adobe?" Mm -hmm. um, and then yeah. you know, Lightroom for iPad, and then my friend who uh, uh, my friend Andrew, who's a uh, wedding photographer primarily, you know, we had talked a lot about it when it came out, and then a year after that, he was like, "Dude, you should take another look at Lightroom," and I did on the iPad, and I was like, "You know, this is this is okay." Um, 
there's a lot of stuff mm -hmm. that's missing that I would really like to see. Survey view being the biggest. Um, but then I stumbled on Affinity Photo for iPad, which if you're not familiar, Affinity Photo is a Photoshop-like piece of software. And, uh, and I tried that out and I was like, oh, this is good, like genuinely good. Mm -hmm. And then I started experimenting more and I just went all in. Like I do all of my posts on an iPad uh, and it's, for me, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, different processes, different tools. You're going to see it all, yeah. all of it. Yeah, from two different sides. I think it'll be pretty interesting. Uh, and we haven't even toyed with like some of the interplay we could do too. Like I give you one of my oh, pictures. Oh, that would be super interesting. Yeah. Yours, you know, there's all these weird derivations. Because I mean, I have like two pictures or two um, scenes in my mind from mm -hmm. the single theme. If we, if we pick <laughs> the theme, we kind of are working toward. Yeah. Uh, then I have two in my mind, but I'm sure when I shoot it, right. I'm going to end up with more. I might be like, well, mm, one of three. hey, mm -hmm. you want to? Yeah, that, that would be a super interesting, interesting. challenge uh, to do, like as a sort of bonus thing at the end of this. You know, it'd be cool too, is if we could do it while the other mm -hmm. person was watching. So I could be on here watching you <laughs> edit it at the same time. Like, dude, right, right. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Oh, that would be super fun. <laughs> We're gonna we should do that. Like yeah. we should just make that. That'll be the five hundredth video in the series. That'll probably keep ballooning. Five hundred and eighteen. Yeah. Along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. Be a good All right, idea. Well, with that, we should probably wrap this up before we ramble on for another hour. Yeah. However long we've been talking. <laughs> 28 minutes. Yeah, 28 that's not minutes. bad. It's, it's all good. Right. Not that but, anybody's um, counting. Nah. We hope you'll enjoy this process and the journey that hopefully you'll come along uh, with us. If you have questions about anything, leave a comment and uh, we'll certainly try to answer it. Um, if you want to try to help our channels, do the like and subscribe YouTube bullshit. It does help us. It tells YouTube, hey, this video is worth something. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you're watching on my channel, you should definitely go check out Scott's channel. His link's down in the comments, or um, down in the doobly-doo, whatever the fuck that thing's called, and up in the little info <laughs> thingamajobber in the corner. Little yeah, magical corner. Find him. Go check him out. You should definitely subscribe to his channel. And uh, Yep, same. You know, we've, we've got, we have two very unique channels that have completely different types of content, yep. but are all photography related. And a lot of just there's so much knowledge in there and uh from two completely different standpoints but again the end result is a highly polished images you know so uh i think that that's really why i'm excited about this and why i reached out to you is to say you know there are a lot of photographers that i, I can look at and say well you know we could do this but i want the quality of work that mm -hmm. either of us produces to be really good you know and i was like well this is an easy one you know because you have great work and i'm like well this is a guy i would totally do this with so um, I'm looking forward to this. Like, yeah, yeah it's going to be so good. It's so, you know, and right. I, and I need it, right? I need this this artistic mm -hmm. breather. Let's like, get out and do something, and I need this little push. Um, so yeah, check out check out our channels. Um, and I always say liking is like clapping on YouTube. You know, one out of every hundred users bothers to do it, but it's what YouTube uses to decide mm -hmm. if they want to show it to other people. Uh, so as, especially as we start rolling along in these, and I think those videos will probably yeah. be a little more bite-sized. Um, this, this is kind of a big one initially because we're announcing it and you know, you don't know either of us. So you're getting a chance to, to see us depending on whose channel you're watching. Um, and yeah, it'd be a really, Me too. I'm looking forward to this so much. And we gotta, we, we gotta talk to the model yet mm -hmm. and get her into one yeah, of these as well. We should be able to do that though. So yeah, surprise <laughs> is probably not a good thing in that way. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> guess what you're doing today? All right. Well, mm -hmm. thanks for watching. And uh, this is a thing I always do say because, I mean, this is kind of the whole point. Just take some damn photos. <laughs>